Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 365 Web X. Joe here. So today, I'll be showing you how to resolve this. This site has been reported as unsafe, and uh, you can see the uh, the URL there. You know the site itself there, and uh, you know I've tested this on all the browsers, and I get the same. Uh, the same message. So I'll be showing you how I resolve this um, easily. And I guess what it is very, very easy. Um, first of all, what this means is that uh, you're, for some reasons, maybe Google has detected that um, maybe a, a sort of social, uh, social engineering going on on your site or maybe um, your thing maybe is, is, is dead and um, uh, some scripts are uh, you know causing a conflict or plugins but for whatever reason or maybe some hackers have gone in there to you know take over your site and you know they are um, redirecting your domain uh to something else so uh let me see if i can bring up okay so um after after trying my possible best to resolve these issues um what i discovered is that you need to go into your um, google search console okay you need to, it is mandatory. I advise that um, before you do anything, please, please go into your Google search console um, for me, which I do have here. Um, yeah, so as you can see inside my search console, Google is saying that um, an issue has been detected. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in there. So you can see that Google says uh, an issue has been detected. Uh, so yeah, um, you have, this is where I advise that you begin from, okay? Before trying to take down your site or, um, I mean, uh, possibly turn off uh, plugins and on, uh, reinstall your website. Okay, this uh, is the first, uh, thing and advice that you do go into your Google search console and take a look and see if Google has um, has issued this uh, message because uh, sometimes Google sends you message and because you're not keeping track of uh, such messages so, I mean sometimes these messages become overwhelmingly too much and so uh, sometimes you miss messages like this or um, I mean warnings like this in your email so do this come to your Google search console and take a look and uh, if there's this message then yeah uh, there's a problem so um, sometimes you just need to go through and uh, I mean the, the, the Google gives you the URL that um, is causing the problem and you go in there and fix it but sometimes you still need more work i mean okay but trust me it is very easy to fix this so before i come back to this um let me see so if you look here it says dangerous okay and then if you come down here it says um https as uh, you know is there but why Am I getting this message? Because some people argue sometimes, and of course it's true, that sometimes when you're using HTTP instead of HTTPS, sometimes you get this message. So you go and check that as well, okay? And then the last thing which um, I would say uh, sometimes uh, is the problem is that hackers has taking hold of your website and they are directing, redirecting um, uh, your domain to theirs. So it happens that um, 
one of my domain actually acted in that manner. Um, yeah, sorry. So acted in that manner. And so what I did was I had to, because I discovered that uh, there was some malware in the website, okay? The site was hacked. That's the whole truth. So I had to delete the whole site. Okay, I, of course, back, I packed up the database and um, the the uh, the upload folder, the WP config, uh, and um, I deleted the whole site. And then I re uh, I mean, I re uh, installed a fresh WordPress. Uh, okay, uh, but. Don't be fooled. Sometimes the problem is coming from if you have not updated your WordPress website, sometimes it causes it. Okay, so what I did was what I'm going to show you here. Okay, so I went in and I let me zoom in here. So I went in and I I sent Google after installing my website and um, getting it up and down let me show it to you this one okay this is the site you can see that it has the padlock there okay right so you can see this is when it was given that error okay this is when you can see google has actually um highlighted some url here that um uh, causing issues okay so i had to take care of that and then um of course i waited you have to wait for 24 hours you can see it has started getting uh, uh the traffic back okay uh yeah it's, it's it's it is what it is sometimes you have to uh you know you lose something when things like this happen for example you lose your traffic and all of that it's fine or it's better to get your domain working again um, than you prefer to have this uh, this message there and uh, you know um, allow your customers to see it because this is what your customers say we see when they try to visit your website so yeah after doing uh, all of this I actually got the site back how did i get the site back i'm going to show it to you this is when i okay okay this is uh after i i sent google this message and how do you do that okay when you get this message what you're supposed to do is you click you go i advise some people advise that you click uh i mean let me see you click i think you click somewhere here uh, on save and all of that so or you see reports that this site doesn't contain phishing even if, if you click there it's fine as well so um i'm using edge here um so what happened is when you do this when you do this, I, I think it, for me, this is not the best way to go about this. Okay. Yes, this sometimes works, but it's not the best. What I advise you do instead, let me zoom in so you can see, right? This is it right here. So you have to, you know, uh, tell Google that this, um, uh, your website is not uh, for phishing and then you click uh, I think this site is safe website how, how can you think your website is safe website okay uh, Google has detected something that is why they are showing you that that is why they have disabled um, your website for some reasons and they are showing you this message so doing this here is not the best the best is go into your Google search console where you see, um, sorry, go into your Google search console where you see this message, it's here. And then um, you click on request to review. You can see request to review right here. 
you can see request review uh, right here and you fill in the folder. Okay, so this is the message uh, I typed. I, 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 this is what I wrote to Google. Okay, after doing all that I've shown you, I said, I did, um, actually, you can, there are other message, messages up. This is a screenshot of the message I sent. So I said, hi, Google. Um, I deleted the entire website and database and redesigned the website from scratch. I have also removed unnecessary plugins. This website is for Grace Academy Center Daycare and is not used for any other purpose, okay? So you have to, um, uh, you have to say that. Mind you, don't write exactly what um, I, I'm showing you here. Write it exactly somehow, but in your own words, okay? Using your domain and your business name, okay? And then once you do this, you send it, give Google 24 hours, and they will get your domain back working looking like this okay like this you can see the domain is working yeah and um, all the, the i mean this message here is gone the message here is gone okay so this is how uh to solve this uh problem of this site has been reported as unsafe uh, from Google. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time in another video. Please, please do subscribe, uh, hit the notification button. And if you have uh, a question, drop it down and I'll be happy to answer maybe with a video. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.